Now welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations, Edgeworth time. <sighs> time for logic. What are we doing? Well, we did case one, episode one, the last time I did this game. So it's time to start episode two. Turnabout Airlines. The murder that occurred in my office. Speedy times. The return of the great thief Yadagarasu. Thinking back, everything began on that fateful day. Two years ago. Two days earlier. Edgeworth. Blood. Oh, lovely. Not blood. Grape juice. Wine glass? Elevator? What's going on? Wait. Indeed, high up in the air. 9,000 feet in the air. To be precise. Thank you for flying iFly Airlines. We are currently experiencing some slight turbulence. We are asking all passengers to please return to their seats and fasten their seat belts. Oh! Ow. I have a feeling that's real blood this time. Alright. Good morning, Edgeworth. Have a bit too much to drink. What have I told you about that? Maybe, maybe because you did? Slight turbulence indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently experiencing some slight turbulence. For your safety, we ask that you return to your seats and fasten your seat belts. Thank you. Indeed, since DL6, huh? What is this? Yes. Yeah. To an elevator? Everything that Edgeworth does not like crammed into one airplane. <clears throat> Indeed. Come on, you can conquer this elevator. You can do it, Edgeworth. The fuzz. Eh? Uh, hello. Do you see? It's not what it looks like, hun. Please. Okay, that part is what it looks like. Murderer? Hey, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. I may have drank too much, but I didn't kill anyone. Jeez, I'm Edgeworth. I can't kill people. Well, that's not good. Let's see here. We have all the info from that crime scene. In our organizer. Rhoda Tenero. Nice to meet you, Rhoda. Minor accident. Okay then, murder! Strange things are going on with this flight. Alright then. Well, if you insist. Oh? I've apprehended the culprit. And it's me. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, we have the Miss 
misfortune of stumbling upon the body. However, what makes you so sure? On your honor as a professional flight attendant, eh? I'll, I will accept that wager. Incriminating evidence, you say. By the powers vested in our captain. Yay. It's going very south. chance to play logic chess oh wait yeah let's just plead our case haha <laughs> well played Edgeworth well played Alright, fair enough. So we're opening up with a confrontation. Quite a way to start the case. Alright then, what Miss Tenero saw. I swear to tell the whole truth as a professional flight attendant. Unfortunately for you, Mr. Edgeworth, I am certain you are the killer. The scene I saw in front of the elevator. It was you, standing there with fresh blood dripping off the murder weapon. So if you would please cooperate, we'll turn you over a suit just as soon as we land. Okay, first of all... I disagree. Objection. An incredibly gaping hole in it. In fact, this is gonna take seconds. Oop. We have all the evidence we found in the court record. We have crime scene notes, uh, travel wallet. That's what we picked up with the blood on it. And we can't exactly kill someone with a travel wallet. Stop screaming at people randomly, Edgeworth. <clears throat> drip, drip, drip. Oh. That's right. That's a travel log, I believe. Indeed. Very possible. No, but I... It's grape juice. Yep, it's grape juice. Then it was a big misunderstanding. Yes! Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, great. If it was wrapped around something heavy... Yes, I have an anvil inside of my wallet. That we do. Oh, very well. Alright, let's open. It's a passport. Fair enough.
Okay. While well, it was the middle of an argument, renders it moot. What? Still more? Oh, very well. Why are you asking me if you can take a look? Acby Hicks, Republic of Borginia. The victim. The victim's travel log. Okay. So what does this mean? He stole his wallet. You're persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. We'll see about that. Your logic, eh? I do claim the murder weapon is not the travel wallet. However, it is something you stole from Mr. Hicks after the, you were done with the vile deed. I find it hard to believe myself, but your motive is very simple. You were out to steal Mr. Hicks' money, weren't you? Now, a slightly less subtle gaping hole in this testimony. But we'll get to that next video. Until then. Until then.